me a call you one summer star. I'm a champ, you can't find my friends. I'm a champ. 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 I'm a champ
a kid for? I'm, I'm looking for my keys, man. My car keys. Scared the hell out of me. Knock yourself sometime, young boy. I got to find these keys. You know, Margaret, she'll have my head if I forget to get her a Christmas present this year. I got to find these damn keys. I know they're around here somewhere. Oh! Hey! Then what do we have here? And who is this fine young P.Y.T.? I mean, Beth, nice to meet you. Mm, the pleasure is all mine. Oh, she smells good. Girl, I swear if I was just 25 years younger, Ooh, young girl, I swear you'd have a problem. You know, your old girl always a pimp. Ooh, if I was just 25 years younger. See, a fine young woman like you needs a real man with lots and lots of money. And Uncle O has plenty. You interested, young girl? I'm okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm okay. <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> He's funny. My money ain't funny. What <laughs> is? If it is your power of attorney, she's gonna make sure all your bills are paid on time, your doctor's appointment. Wait, wait, I don't need no damn and, sugar mama. And she's also gonna make sure that she'll get a few girls to come over and take care of you. A few girls? Wait, 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 take care of me. Yes. I, I, I don't need nobody to take care of me. Oh, let's take care of himself. Otis, you have slight dementia. They'll just come by to make sure you're okay, to keep you company, like a companion. I got a wife, I got a companion. They'll make sure you know, you eat, take a shower, and they'll even do your laundry. Mmm, uh, I, I guess. But, hmm, I don't have a problem with it, you know. I ain't the one you need to convince. That old Margaret. Woo. Uh, look here. Now, what's that there you say? You say they're going to shower me? You mean like, 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 like sponge bath? Like wash me up? Yes. Yeah. Nah. You know, uh, Margaret ain't going to have that shit. You know. They, they, she's not going to have no young, pretty thing woman hanging around me all day. She ain't going for that. I'm talking about... You know she a fighter. She a whole firecracker. You know, she come in here, see something like that, it's going to be some furniture moving. I'm talking about smoke in the city. Yeah, she, she, she knows how to fight, too. She, 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 she mess around and wreck their taxi. Otis, I got to run. I got to go. But you know, I'm just a phone call away, right? So if you need me, give me a call, okay? I got to go. Go on then. Okay. Go on, get out of here. You, you, you. Go on. Okay. Get going, skaters. Okay, all right. Take you take care of yourself now. Okay. Oh, get out of here. I yeah. see. You. Okay. Enough me a nice capable hands. I got this from y'all. Now that he's gone, it's time for the festivities to begin. Uh, come on, Are you thirsty? <laughs> come on, let me. Come on, young guy. Let me fix your drink. Well, you know, Jack Daniels was invented by a black man, a slave. He had his own herbs and spices put it together. They stole the credit. You know they like to whitewash everything and keep the history from us. His name was Nathaniel Green. People that knew him personally used to call him Nearest. For over 200 years, they stole this man's invention. 
the family just won some recognition, a case by, oh, about two years ago. I didn't know that. It was invented in 1820. So when people ask about Jack Daniels, remember, a black man is there. Don't let nobody tell you different. Some of the finest spirits you're gonna find. Okay. Wow. So you was an engineer? Yes, ma'am. 35 years I gave them service. Excuse me, ma, if I lean up right here. Got bad legs. Just need to lean right here. How are your legs? Mm hmm. Your legs. As I was saying, I worked for the Italians and made them a lot of money. Like I said, working for them wasn't easy. 35 years, I gave them a good service, and I was the best they ever had. Hmm. You know the machines is rigged, right? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. No matter how many times you pull it, <laughs> It only go up at a certain time of day, when we say so. So that's why I've been losing all my money. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> but you know old old got, got plenty more. I built that one right there from scratch. Yep. And Miss Pac-Man right there. And that one that there, the pinball uh, machine. Yeah, I like the pinball machine. That one high tech, I don't know nothing about that one. I'm proud of you. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Come on, let me show you how I play some pool. How do you play this? Well, it's not that complicated. You start with this. You gotta take this right here, this triangle, and you fit it over the balls. And you rub it around real good and line them up perfectly. And when you get them angled properly, you lift this up. It needs to form a perfect triangle. It needs to be set. Set your met asymmetric, symmetrical. Some symmetric. Oh, fiddlesticks. It need to be lined up right. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you sit up there doing it like this. Although that look good, no, that's not how you do it. How do you do it then? Let me show you how to do that now. It's all about your form. You have to line your body up right. Okay. Now, you want to Lean over like this. You aim from here, okay? Step back and follow through. Now you're gonna need to make yourself a little hole like this here. Mm -hmm. You slide it right on through. Nice and easy. Okay. So here you go. Step back. Step back. Get low. Get low. Aim, watch your back. Are you no. sure this is the right way? Mm -hmm. And shoot! <laughs> How'd you miss all them balls? Should have hit at least one. We'll try it again. Try not, it again. I don't want to play anymore. I really like this place. Uh, damn. This place likes you too. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm.
this. shit out of me. You scared the shit out of me first. I'm sorry, I ain't mean to yell. Hey, hey, come give me a hand. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. I can do this anymore. I can't. He's stressing me out. I, I can't. I can't do this. I'm sorry. What, what are you doing up there? I'm fixing my lights. See, it went out. What? I've been looking for you. What are you doing? You going to the party? Here you go. There's only one tonight. There's only one. You promise? Same one. Same one, yeah. Oh, man. I think you'll have to, you know, hang on for another week or two. I didn't sign up for that. You told me that you need me for a week at least, and then you're going to get an agency that, 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 that has the training to take care of a person like him. I don't have it. I did not go to college for that. Okay, look. Please. Oh, my uh -huh. God. Please. Please get down. Please get down from there. Please. I've been looking for you. I don't see why you can't join me. You know, my mother ain't in the town. She won't be around for a while. It's okay. Well, sit down for a moment. Let me talk to you. Come on. He's climbing up on buses. He's touching my ass. You might fall. Me fall? Yeah. Please. I got the reflexes of a cat. I am the original Alicat regular. So, I think, I think he's touching you because of the way you look, the way you dress. So I'm gonna respectfully ask you okay. to just to dress down for a day or so. Okay, listen. And then, you Hold know, we'll see what happened. The way that I'm dressed, you sound very sexist. That's, that was very sexist. What are, you, what, what are you doing? I'm about to go get me some young gals. And I'm telling you, this thing, you know, we can make this work. I can make it worth your while. The average nurse, they, 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 they wear a uniform, and they, they're not dressed this revealing. All that fuss for nothing. Damn it. No, come on, let's get in the car. Huh? I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I, I can't. I'm going to ask you to dress down a little bit. What's dress wrong down. with what I'm wearing? How about the offer you can't refuse? I, I put you on my wheel, you know, and raise your salary a bit. Maybe to you, your headlights is on. <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go. Huh? Get in the car. Oh, you going to give me a ride to the party? Yes. Promise. Do you know that I have other things I have to do to pay my bills? You haven't given me a check yet. I still have to go places before I come here, and that's how I dress. I can't change that. Yeah, and, and I know that I'm aware of that. Okay. But um, based on what we're seeing and what we do understand, the, the guy still has his marbles together. He's still alive. And if you dress a certain way, and you know how he is, um, he's going to try to touch you and all of that. 
put you in a better position where you can start owning some of the business you was talking about. Hmm? I'm okay. Thank you. You sure? Yeah, positive. So, if you could just dress down and um, let's see where it goes from there. I'll try. I'll try tomorrow, but I mean, in the next day or so, I would love for us to sit with some people, some agencies or something, because I don't see making any moves to do that. I, I can't do this. I ain't gonna go to college for this stuff. I cannot, I cannot take care of an elderly person. Plus the man have the men, you know I thought he was a normal person. Up until I saw this man climbing up on buses, walking around at night, I went to his house looking for him. This guy is walking around the street, going to a party. A party that don't even exist. I can't, I can't, I can't. I don't want to get in trouble for anything because I'm responsible for him. So the best thing we need to do is to get an agency and to get it soon. Well, I am not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to do this job. And that's it. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. I'm we'll, sorry. We'll, we'll, we'll try and see how we can work it out. It's a nursing outfit. You know how much I pay for this? Wear something loose. Wear something loose. This is more revealing than yesterday. What's wrong with this? You, you need to wear something loose. Wear something loose. Wear something loose. Wear something loose. Something loose. I like it. Otis. Otis. Hey, I'm here to get you up for a breakfast. Then I'll come back later to put you back to bed. Breakfast? Yeah. The hell? Who's you? It's a vet. What you do with the pretty lady? Hmm? It's me. What you do with her? You scared off? Come on. Come on. Just get up. Get up. Come on. You gotta go to the bathroom. Nothing, Otis. Just let me help you to the bathroom. Hmm. The only way you can help me is go change. Oh. Come on, let's let's go. Come on, get get your stuff. Damn, that's an ugly outfit on you. Okay. Right. Get up. You think you slick? You ain't hiding nothing in that sweatsuit. Let's try though. Get up, get up, Otis. Mm. You gotta come closer. 
Oh, this, please, 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 please. Damn it. You sound like James Brown. <laughs> You know, it's been five, we have five people so far, and we still, there's nowhere. None of these guys are capable or they have the, the, the requirements to I get know. this job. Position. Well, we need to find somebody because I'm tired. I cannot do this type of work. I'm not trained for this. We really need to get somebody. Yes, I, no, he's stressing me out. We need somebody in here. We yes, need someone. We I don't even care. I need someone in here now. Hello. Hey, good afternoon. How are you today? Nice, and how are you? Good enough, good, good, good. Yeah. Can you put can you can you put out the weed please? Oh yeah. Just a little some weed enough. Just put it out please, thank you. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. It's legal now, lady. Can you please put that out, sir, please? Everyone I'm gonna carry this, I'm gonna smoke it. But I never said on to me. Yet. Please put that out, sir. Thank you. Channel star. What can I interview this already? I don't know, Mr. Man love my weed, you know. Love my weed. Oh. I'm telling you. Yeah. What on there? What can I tell him I call me already and I'm still a cop? Give me one second. Links. What? Oh, the same client again? Time up on the bed. I time up on the chair down there, leave you now. I'm getting too much damn trouble. All right, now I'm going to interview some people. I try to set you something. I'm going to have a mask, dog. Watch them. Eh, come on back. Yes, good up. Yes, again. Mm -hmm. You know, I was, um, Researching on my son, um, Gregolis, that you guys were um, hiring. And I, I want to know if I'm fit for the position. Why? You know, I I'm, 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 I'm love to kill people and, you know, I love to, you know what I mean? I'm an herbal man and I just think people just need, you know what I mean? The green herbs, you know what I mean? Okay, so what got you started into home care? Cause I just figure this, it's a good way, you know. It's a very good way, so I can, you know what I mean, get my business up and on the ground, and you know what I mean. What business? Healthcare, right? That's what the guys deal with, right? So, so do you have experience? How much, how much experience do you really have in, in um, taking care of um, people who need help? Me, take care of people, fit all of them urban needs. I think I'd be a good fit for the job. Remember, I'm a people them from Jamaica. How long you been and doing this? And then I send the best stuff for the people then. How long you been doing this? Well, I'll do it like about two, 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 three weeks now. So, hold on, I'm get the job, lady. No. I'm sorry, but you have to leave. I said, Jesus, please. I said, every time I try something, somebody, off in my way, off in my way. I know, sir. So I can't get the next chance. No, sir. I'm sorry. Boss. Big man. I'm sorry, sir. We won't be able to help you at this time. I know, sir. I tell you this, man. I know you're not God. And this man, I get up and I pray now. I come out and I have a walk up and everything. I, I, I know I can't get the job. I saw the people stay now. I'm sorry. From, from the first time I see the woman I come tell me about it. For just out my way. But no, sir, there's somewhere good this enough. Should you bother come here, sir? Look away. <laughs> He's crazy. You gotta be kidding me. Give me a blind now. Give me a blind now. Give me a blind now. Please. Wanna set the business in a man on the road in a man? I mean, it's seven guys already, 
and we still didn't get anyone. So. I need somebody in here because I, I cannot stay with Otis another day. I can't do it. I know. I can't. I know stuff, but, um... Hey guys, how are you, man? Good hey, afternoon. How, how are you? Are you? I'm doing good, man. Very cold hey. and windy out there, man. Yes. Well, my name is Andre. I'm from Hello Health Care. And I see that y'all posted a job online that I'm looking for, and I would like to know if y'all still hiring more people. Mm-hmm. Please have a seat. All right, no problem. Thank you very much. Oh, so pretty windy and cold out there. So what got you into home care? Well, I was locked away for a long time, and I've been studying this thing, you know, and I would like to take care of people and stuff like that to better myself and also better my future. So. You know, I see that you're hiring, so... Locked you know, away? What do you mean, locked away? Sure, I was locked away in jail for a long time, you know. And I've been, you know, studying healthcare system for a little minute now, so... I decided to come out here and, you know, brought my talent out here. Oh. Uh, not, to, not to cut you, but... What were you locked away for? Well, domestic abuse. <laughs> wow. How did you get a license to do this if you're a convict? Well, when I got home, I told my mom my ideas and my situation and what I want to do, and it wasn't going to get me in trouble, and she was with it. So she put the business in her name. Okay. So what is your experience? Well, my experience, in, in, I, in I, got, I got five years of experience, you know, being in jail, you know. Helping them people in there, them inmates and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, man, up some of the old sick bastards. Man. Are, you, are you serious about that? Yeah, man, it's been a whoa, it's been a long time, man. So you know, I'm ready to get paid for it. I got a lot of hands-on experience. So, how many clients do you have right now? I have a whole bunch of clients, but hey. You know, and where where are your clients? Where are they? Hey, they're in prison. If you want to visit, them. oh, just you know, <laughs> that's where they're at. You know, they all in there. Okay. That's where my business started in the home health care, you know, taking care of inmates, you know, that can't take care of themselves, you know, stuff like that. All right, that. listen, that's that's pretty interesting. Could you explain to me some of the the things you do in regards to your experience? Well, well, to be honest with you, in there is kind of a little bit different than out here. <laughs> So, you know, man, it's kind of crazy. It's a long story, but if you want to sit here and listen to it, you know, it'll go for days, but it's a long story, man. Um, I'm sorry, but we can't hire you. You're nice, you're a nice guy and all, but Why? you're a convict. But you just told me earlier that you was locked up too, so... Well, hold what, on a minute, I told you that I was locked up? Yeah, that's what sparked the conversation no, even more. No, that's it. Now you're really bipolar. Like, man, come on. Come on, come on. No, come, come on, on, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, she told me, no. she told me she was locked up I too. I did not tell you that, sir. So, so how come can on, you get a go. job? Oh, man. Sir, sir I'm it's sorry. It's unfortunate that we, 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 can't, we, can't, we can't hire you now. And she wasn't locked up. She told me that earlier. No, she was not locked up. Y'all saying I'm crazy? She was not locked up. Oh, man. All right, come on, let's go. Oh, man. And I really like that guy, but he's... He's bipolar. This is... Uh, this is... This is crazy. I don't think we're ever going to find anybody. Believe it. Hold it right there. Do you smoke weed? No. Do you believe in tying up a resident to the bed? Absolutely not. Have you ever been to jail? No, I have not been to jail, ever. All right, no. please sit down. Oh, gosh. Ew, how's everyone? Nice Good. to meet you. Oh, please have a seat. Thank you, appreciate it. Nice. How's everything, guys? Everything's good. So tell me, what got you into doing home care? Um, I used to take care of my grandma. She passed away, you know, rest in peace. Um, but I used to take care of my grandma, and I see there wasn't a lot of healthcare workers to take care of, you know, elderly people. So I decided, you know, why not step in and then, you know, make a business out of it. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the name of your company? Olga, Olga Healthcare. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's named after my grandma. Yep. Been doing this for about 10 years now. So, you know. Nice. I really love it. I really, really enjoy doing it. Yeah. Okay. okay, what make you fit for the job? Um, as you can see, my credentials I have here. Been in this company for 10 years now. Oh. 10 years. And I love it. And the people that I have that works for my company, they're, they're excellent. 
wonderful, wonderful people. They take care of everybody, everybody's needs. Yeah. Nice. Okay. How many clients do you have at this time? Right now we have about 65 clients. Oh. Yes, our company is very big and big and growing, growing very fast. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the, the people that you take care of, um, mm -hmm. your staff, are they equipped to take care of Absolutely. We deal with all types of clients. Angry clients, clients that have dementia, all types, we deal with them. Nice. Okay. I like her. I think you might be the one. Oh, nice to hear. But you will not be disappointed, trust me. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see you again. All right, thank you. All right, we'll all keep right. the paperwork, okay? okay. Not okay. a problem. Right. Nice meeting right. you guys. Thank you. Have a good all day. Right. Have a great right. day. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, my name is Yvette. Um, I'm Mr. Otis Power Attorney. And the reason why I brought you guys here today is to just cue you in a little bit on Mr. Otis' condition. He's in the hospital at the moment from a fall, yeah. He had a fall a few days back. But he should be home very soon. Yeah, he's a very nice guy. He um, care, he's caring, loving, and very giving. So if he tries to give you money, please don't take it. <laughs> please. Um, he's also a ladies' man. In his mind, he thinks he's a pimp. Oh. <laughs> but he's harmless. He's very harmless. He'll try his luck if he see a beautiful woman, and I'm sure he's gonna probably try to hit on you guys because you guys are very, very pretty. Um. Pretty much, you know, he doesn't he doesn't use a walker, but I don't know if he's going to need one because he did have a really bad fall. He doesn't wear diapers. He goes to the bathroom on his own. And uh, that's it. That's it. That's all I got. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. Okay. Um, let me introduce you to my CNA workers. I have Amy here. She works the 11 to 7 shift. And then I have Lisa. She works the 3 to 11 shift. I have another nurse too, as well. Her name is Kim. She works the seven to three shift. That being said, let me introduce you to Miss Kim. Miss Kim? Miss Kim? Oh, my name is not Miss Kim. My name is Miss Smith. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. It's okay. It's okay. Hi, ladies. Good. So, ladies, I've been in this field for the past 18 years. I started out as a CNA. I went back and got my LPN and I wanted to learn more, so I went back to school and got my diploma in psychiatric, okay? So I want you guys to know, you don't have to stop here. There's a lot of opportunities out there. This job is 24 seven, so there's always money to be made, okay? So do you, any of you ladies know anything about dementia? A little bit. I know the patient is confused and can't remember. I know what it is, but I still don't understand it 100%. And that's exactly why we are here today to get a better understanding. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's good. So I have a handout for you ladies. Okay, so I just wanna go over, you know, you can, the top paragraph, it explain about dementia. So dementia is the loss of your cognitive function, like thinking, remembering, and reasoning. So to an extent that it interferes with the person's daily life and activities, such as controlling their emotions and their personalities may change okay you understand okay. okay i just got hired to this agency and to tell you the truth i did take a course on dementia but i was just clicking the buttons to go to the next page just to get through it oh really sorry i'm being honest i'm just being honest well i'm here now tell me exactly what's this dementia thing and what can we expect well, dementia is something you have to take serious. Show some interest if you don't mind, okay? Because my grandfather had dementia. It was okay in the beginning, but towards the end, it got worse. Worse? How worse? Is Alzheimer's and dementia the same thing? Well, Alzheimer's leads to dementia. Well, my grandma ended up having to hire an outside agency to take care of my grandfather because it came, it was so bad. He couldn't remember anything. He used to call me his wife, his mother, and his sister because his dementia was so bad. I learned that they can be very aggressive. Yeah, it's true. The funny thing is, 
they believe in whatever is in their head. It's nothing that you can tell them to change their mind. And when you try to convince them otherwise, they become very aggressive. I really don't know much about the bench myself, so I'm learning as I go. But to tell you the truth, this kind of job, it's not the kind of job for me by far. Uh, but I do give you guys credit for doing the job that you do. You play a really big role in the society. I think you guys should really be respected for what you do. It takes a lot. I mean, mentally, physically, and emotional stress. <laughs> wow, and then you still have to go home and take care of your family. Like, I really give it up to you guys. I, I know it's hard because actually I was taking care of Mr. Otis before he went to the hospital, so I know. I know. Oh yeah, dementia is a sensitive subject. You never know what to expect. Every day is something different because a lot of families don't know how to handle it. They get so frustrated, they end up putting their loved ones in the nursing home. And that's, it's overwhelming for them. So, you know, they gotta do what they have to do. Really? Yeah. But that's when you guys come in to help them, to care for their loved ones so that they can be stress-free. They're like big kids. You have to change them, feed them, bathe them, and change their diapers. You can't even leave them for a second. You cannot, because if anything happened, you're going to jail. Listen, you gotta take this serious, because if they go missing, you can go to jail for neglect, and that's a big deal. What if we had to take a break? We have to go to the bathroom. What should we do? The last client I had that had dementia and I left to go to the bathroom, he fell. And he messed up his elbow. He had head injuries too. Did you toilet him? Yes. Was the walker close? No, it wasn't. Okay. Listen, you have to take the car keys. You have to take the knobs off the stove. You have to make sure you don't let them use the microwave because they can start a fire. And remember, these are adults, but once a man, twice a child. What's that supposed to mean? So Yvette, it's been two weeks now since um, these girls have been working with Otis. Um, which one of them do you think is the right candidate for the job? Well, I think, um, Amy, she's too ghetto and she's loud, so no. Lisa, she's a little too young and she lives with her parents, so I think she'll talk. But, uh, Kim, Kim, I know that she has a son that's going to college. Mm -hmm. And she's also a single parent. Okay. So I think she can use the money. So I think Kim, Kim is the best candidate for the job. <laughs> I have a proposal that can benefit both of us. And before you even say no, I know that you can use the money. Oh, I hear this. I told you, I'm gonna get the money. He's gonna get the money. He will go to college. I am gonna get that money. All right, I have to go. All right, bye. Love you, mommy. <sighs> oh, Mr. Agnes. 
Hey, young girl. Oh, sweet. That's okay. Thank you. I can't. I can't take it. That's okay. What's wrong? Nothing. Just, just kind of hey. Thank you. It's not enough. I got you. Oh, no. You keep your money. Don't worry. Sadness. It's okay. Hey. Look, take it now. Take it. The boy needs an education. I understand, but that's okay. You sure? I, I got it. I got it. That's okay. Thank you. Might as well take it. I ain't never had a young girl turn down some money now. Come on now. Oh, sweet. But that's okay. I know you need it. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank money. You. Money. Thank you. That's okay. Uh, it's sure? tempting, but no. That's okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, though. Everything is good. He took all his meds. The only thing left for me to do was to fold up his clothes. I just took them out the dryer. Okay? Okay. Have a safe trip home. I'll see you tomorrow. Home? Girl, I wish. I have to head to my part-time job in a half an hour. I won't be home until nine. You are such a strong woman, Kevin. Oh. I don't know how you do it. How's everything going at the nursing home? Oh, girl, long story short, that place is falling apart. I know, it's, I'll catch up on you later. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you all about it. Cause I gotta make a stop before I clock in. Oh my God, I forgot. I forgot to tell you something. Um, Otis wasn't himself today. He was a little bit out of place, confused, tired. You know, I couldn't understand it, but. Okay, I'll keep an eye on him. You know how he gets. Maybe he didn't get enough rest last night. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I agree. Later. Bye. Hey. You finally woke up. How was your nap? Would you like to help me fold some clothes before dinner? Who the hell are you? And what the hell are you doing in my house? It's Lisa. Mr. Agnes, I take care of you every evening. Don't you remember me? Nope. Get out of my house. Or I'm gonna call the police. Or I'm gonna throw you out myself. What you do? You dumb or something? You don't speak English? You stupid? I said get your black ass out of my house! Otis, it's me. It's Lisa. You're just a bit confused. It's gonna be okay. Please, calm down. Hey.
I'm excited to work here, wow. Oh, hi, it gets so dark I'm late outside. I have to go to my next job. I'm so hi. sorry. Oh. I'm so sorry. My name is Donna. I'm from the agency to do the 3 to 11 shift. But where's Lisa? I don't know who Lisa is, but I got a notification on the app that the position was open for today, so that's why I'm here. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming. I'm happy you came. I thought I would be stuck here all day. Uh, I'm, I'm so grateful you came. Trust me. Um, his care package is on the table. He goes to bed about 7.38-ish. Um, he, he, he's not picky with food, so whatever he wants for dinner. We can make sure he has that. Um, okay. Yes. I he, deal with clients like this all the time. So I should be fine. Um, Mr. Agnes, he has no kids. But he has a POA. And she can be a bitch sometimes. Mm. Yeah. But guess what? She don't really understand what we do, what we go through, and how hard we work, you know? And we care about these people, but... Job like this don't come easy. Mm -hmm. And family members... They don't take care of their loved ones and they act like they want us to work miracles, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's the nature of the business that we're mm -hmm. in. That's the nature of the job, you know? Mm -hmm. It pays our bills. Right, right. Um, um, anyway, Mr. Agnes is a little bit under the weather. In, he's not been himself lately. Mm -hmm. um, I want to give, um, keep a keen eye on him. Okay, okay, yes, right. of course, of course. Oh, oh, don't wake him, don't wake him. Let him sleep. He wakes on his own. Okay. Okay. Thank then. you, thank All you. Right. Take care. Bye. Bye. Yeah, honey, oh my gosh. This place is nice. Um, there's a lot of games here. A lot of like pool tables and different stuff. The guy that I'm working for right now, He's an engineer. You are. He was an engineer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm very comfortable. It's a nice place to work for. The agency really, really did me good this time. I can't get it away. Oh, oh, honey. I think I did. Alright. He's going to be on. Just get some water, please. Hello there, I'm Donna. Thank, thank you very much. I'm here for you today. <laughs> Look what you did! Oh my God, I'm soaking wet! <laughs> I thought you girls liked being wet. <laughs> you look dry to me. <laughs> Ew. She tried to poison me. <laughs> Jokes on her. <laughs> I told you bitches to get out of my house. <laughs> All right, you want to listen? All right, you got it. I'll fix you, I'll fix you. Go ahead and make a soft hair. <laughs> I'm calling the motherfucking Pope -po. Hello, hello, officer. I'd like to report. Hey, crazy bitch. That's my personal property.
<laughs> Mr. Otis, I'm Donna. I know you don't know me, but I'm here to help you today. Help? Do I look like somebody needs some damn help? Most of you gals come in here looking like y'all ain't got a pocket piss in or a way to throw it out of How the hell you gonna help me? You make $9 an hour. Show broke ass somewhere. Help. <laughs> <laughs> You can't even search my damn inhaler. Mm. Mr. Otis, you're wet. Can I take you to the bathroom, please? So you can change your pants? Do I look like a child to you? Come on, let me help and you. And I'm not even wet with you very much. Let me help you to the bathroom. Let me help you to the bathroom, please. Turn me loose. You can't even get the right damn medication. Move out the way! And stop trying to be nice to me, because I don't like you. I said, move out my way! Who that is? Who that? Oh, this <laughs> My prayers have been please, answered. Please Somebody going to jail today, and it sure enough ain't me. Uh, Stacy got a call from the Sagittarius. Is everything all right? Mr. Officer, everything is fine. I'm taking care of this elderly man and he's a little confused. He's the one that called and it was by mistake. I just took my eyes off of him for one second. Confused? Do I look like I'm mother confused? She's a liar, your officer. They come up in my house without my permission. It's not just her. It's a lot of them. They're trying to take me for everything I got. I don't trust them. She's a liar, officer. Officer, please. I do have a card here. You can call my agency and verify. Here's the information. It's fake. Don't believe them. Mr. Otis, please stop. Your officer, I'm so sorry for wasting your time. My client, I have to go change him now because he is soaking wet. Sorry to bother you, but we have to take every call that we get seriously. So you have a good day. Look what you've done. Look, I don't want you to make a mess. Let's let's go change your clothes, please, Mr. Atkins. Huh? Please. Get your hands off me. I told you to turn loose. Right! Please, Mr. Adams, please. I knew you was a freak. You just, you just want to see me naked. No, no, not at all. Want to see me naked, huh? Come on, I just want to help you. You want yourself a little taste, young guy? That's all I want to do is help you. Come Too on. bad for you, you didn't get none of this. You better find one of them young niggas. Get your hands off me. Stop touching me. Come on, come on. Right? You're going to make a mess all over yourself. I can't come on. get off me. She's filling me up. Give me some money or something. Get off me. I said turn me loose, young girl. I told you turn me loose. Okay. Let go of me. Please. Get off. Let me, Try let to me take my this. goodies. Let me do this. Come on. No. Come on. No means come on. no. Come on. Come on. Get off me. Come on. Let me. Let me tell you. Come on. Stop. Let me, let me you help you. Can't care none. You're all wet. I got to change your pants. Yeah, yeah you all. Stop, please. Let me, let me help you. Let me help you. I'm just trying to help you. That's all no I'm No means no. I'm not doing anything I'm a tab. Please. Okay. Look, they praying. They, I don't need no head move. I'm doing down there. Get off your knees. I don't need no brain. Please, Ooh. please, please. Stop, I didn't order the happy ending. Move! What? I'm trying to steal Uncle Oda's eyes. Move! Alright. I sleep in this. No, but it's okay. You're not thief! She's trying to take, take my watch. It's alright. Come, let's, let's lay down. 
This watch is a year's worth of your salary, young girl. Let me go. Let me turn me loose. I put myself to bed. Let go of me. I'm so tired of this, man. Jesus. This is too much. This is too much. Hello. Oh. Good night. My name is Amy. Oh, hi, Amy. I'm Donna. Um, Mr. Otis is upstairs sleeping, and he was he was something else today. Man, he wasn't on his best behavior at all today, and he even called the cops. Really? Yeah, he called the cops. I can't believe it, man. I had a long day. I'm so drained. I think I'm gonna call out tomorrow. Please, don't do that. They're gonna want me to come in. And as a matter of fact, I'm blocking the ass tonight. I'm not waiting for tomorrow. I'm only playing. <laughs> but he really stressed me out. I need a stiff drink tonight, trust me. I can't believe I dropped out of college just to work this kind of job? Man, I'm tired. All you need to know is in the care plan. He wasn't very nice to me. I think he has a slight dementia. Really? He's such a sweetheart on the 11 and 7 shift. He'd get up a few times for water, to go to the bathroom. That's it, with no problems. See, that's the thing. Some of these old folks have a thing called sundown syndrome. You should look it up. But anyway, it was good meeting you. I gotta go, I gotta run. Let me just get my stuff. All right, enjoy your night, Donna. All right? And get some rest, girl. You look tired. <laughs> Thank you. Sundown Syndrome According to Banner Health, Sundowner's Syndrome, also called sundowning or late-day confusion, is a group of symptoms that occur in someone with memory loss that can start around late afternoon and continue into the night. I didn't even think of that. I did some research last night after doing my chores, and I really think it's a slight possibility. <sighs> oh, wow. Otis was such a good man. I'll mention it to his poor attorney today. Maybe she can swing by. Girl, nice to see you. Hey, good morning. I got to go. Okay. How's your arm? It's coming along. Thank you. That's great. Well, listen, I got to go. My phone bill is due today and I got to pay it. Or maybe that's not such a good idea. Why not? Because that 3 to 11 shift is rough and they may call out and ain't nobody got time for that. Wow. He's still acting up? I feel so bad for him. You feel bad for him? What about us? We the ones here getting all the abuse. I tell you what, if his ass even try that with me, I'm going to tie his ass up to the bed. <laughs> That's not nice. You know you're crazy, right? Right. Crazy? I'm crazy? I'm the one that's crazy? The only person that's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, he's upstairs and he's sleeping. I tell you what he need to do. He need to take his ass to sleep on a 3 to 11 shift 
instead of beating people up like the Power Rangers. Crazy. Oh, crazy. 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 No. crazy. I know, right? <laughs> I'm about to make some tea. Do you want some? Sure. All righty. I didn't even have anything saved up. My bills were already behind before any of this even happened. The days that I missed, those were days I was depending on to make up for my bills. That's crazy. I was just wondering if I could buy a few dollars and to see how Mr. Agnes was doing. I myself would have felt the same way if I was in your position. But I don't have any, I, I don't have that type of extra dollars right now. But I, I do. I will have it in the near future. So the only thing I can do right now is just help you with something to keep you above the water. know that the machines is rigged, right? I used to fix the machines back in 89. And you're throwing your money away because we got a specific time and date of when those machines go off. Yeah, we ain't rich for nothing. <laughs> y'all keep putting y'all money in there thinking y'all playing the machine gonna make a difference. You got to know, you got to know the times. You touched up those machines. Okay. okay. That's the way it's weird. And I was the best they ever had. Laid me off though. But I made them a lot of money. You did a great job, man. I just wish I'd have got my cut. Just a dirty business. They regret it though, calm as a bitch. Tell me, is it working? Look, Yvette, look. I know you promised to cut me a check as soon as Mr. Agnes is to rest. They didn't know it involved him hurting the staff members. Lisa is a good friend of mine. And now she's out of a job all because of me. Look. I didn't know that either. But I don't know what happened when we administrate these clients these bills. I don't know how the system adapt to it. But I would not sit around and have him live long and eat up all the money I'm supposed to have. Yvette, I do understand. I understand. But I do not like the man that he has become. You have to find a different way. Find one next way or forget him. Dead. I, I, I can't. I can't be doing this anymore. I can't. Do you want the job or not? Huh? That's the question. Do you want the job or not? Are you willing to let a man that's gonna die sooner than later keep you from making money? Money that you haven't seen your entire life all at once. Huh? I promise you ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars, Kim. Just to give the man some pills on your shift for me, you can't do that. You stupid or what? Huh? Do you know how many people would die to be in your position? Yes, I understand. I need the money. I do need the money. But emotional stress is taking me over. This thing is stressful. The man soon start beat up on me too. I need more money. Ten thousand dollar can do nothing. I need fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> fifteen? No, I can't do that. I, I, I have other. Uh, no. Mm. We have other people. We have to pay. I, mean, I can't do that. I'm done. I'm done. Mr. Agnes, are you ready? Let's go. I'm done. I'm done. Kim. Come on, here, Mr. Agnes. Come and I'll work for them. Look, I'm money. People take me for you. That feel like me as I eat that. Come, let's go. Let's go. Are you ready? Like on it. Mr. Agnes, it's yes, all right, sit down. Kim, come on. I'll give you 12500 
but I can't go any higher. All right? I promise to look into something else. But as for now, just leave things as they are. All right? Okay. You can call me anytime. What you young girls talking about? What you young girls up to? What y'all talking about? Like you up to no good, you ask me. Come on. I'm ready to go back inside and work on my machines. Come here, gal. Help me down. Do you know who I am? Well, of course. Like, I will forget, ever forget a pretty young thing like you. <laughs> P.Y.T. You're my wife, Margaret. Margaret died years ago, Mr. Otis. Ah, just fucking with you. I'm still sharp as tech. You thought I was old and cold, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm hot, baby. Excuse me. Hot, pardon me. All right, you be good, Mr. Otis. <laughs> you do, huh? I'll, I'll be, be nice to those girls, all right? <laughs> I'll be real nice to them. <laughs> Ooh. Don't be cheating. Cheating? <laughs> I ain't got to cheat to beat you. <laughs> so, who the hell cheats at strip poker anyway? Oh, I'm just playing this for fun, you know, just to make it feel good. I'm just, I'm just making it feel good. I'm not even interested. Hmm. You want me to feel good, huh? <laughs> You just make sure that I win, you take it off. <laughs> Hit me. Hit what? Hey baby, I already got my fill up. Could you hand me that flat head? Thanks for the flat head. <laughs> You know, I've been working on these machines for over 40 years. And I ain't never had this much damn trouble. I already got to fill up. I got to go get my drill. No, it's about that time. I don't want them little white pills. I'm not in any pain today, so I don't want no Tylenol either. I don't like them little white pills. They, they make me not remember a damn thing. Otis, your doctor knows best. It's when they don't take the white pills, they don't remember nothing. Please take them, man. Take them, please. I won't do nothing to hurt you. I care about you. I don't want them little white pills. Okay, sweetheart. I know you wouldn't do nothing to wrong me. I must really need my nap. 
I know how hard it is to find a good caregiver. You know, somebody I can actually trust. You're like the daughter I never had. Okay, so I'll I take it. Can you please pass me a glass of water? See you. That wasn't even hard. Yeah. Good. Nasty. See, though, I, I, I care about you. I wouldn't do nothing to arm you. Uh-huh. I hear you. Okay, I'll be back. I'm about to take a break. I ain't here, here today. I don't know why the hell she like to pray on old folk. I'll fix her. I'll fix her. Are you talking to me? What, what, what did I do to you? I didn't do anything to you. Sorry, Mike. If anything ever happens to me in here, the workers did it. They're responsible. You hear me? Yeah, you hear me? They're trying to kill me. Why do you say things like that? And why are you whispering? Trust me. I heard two of them talking today. You know me for years. And you know I'm not crazy. <laughs> Otis, <laughs> you know. You know you're crazy sometimes. I mean, not all the time, but you're a little crazy sometimes. Mike. Listen here, I'm serious. Now, 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 I know I, 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 I'm a bit old. I'm old. <coughs> and, I, and I forget sometimes. But my brain is still sharp as a whistle. You hear me? Listen to me. Why would they want to do stuff like that? Don't you think they need their job? And... There's, there's penalties for murder. So, I really don't think that they're that stupid. They have these pills that keep killing me. And every time I take these little white pills, I, I, I start feeling that delusional. As if I'm declining. That's, that's crazy, Otis. Are you trying to tell me that they're trying to kill you? Bingo! Exactly! Otis, I am your friend, but I'm also your lawyer. And if what you're telling me is true, they can all be put in jail. They want my money, Mike. They want my money. They want my assets. They're trying to take me for everything I got. And that power of attorney, that's the sneaky little bitch right there. You know, she come around here with her nose stuck up all in the air, wearing Gucci and Prada. You can't tell me she ain't doing something illegal. I bet 
This is something she done for a living. She's a serial killer. L let us have a face to face. I'll be coming over shortly. I'll see you this evening. Okay? Okay, Mike. I understand. Talk to you soon. She's coming. Are you ready for your now? You ready for your now? Take your nap every day after you take your lunch. Hand me my walker. One day to them, let me tell you something. I don't me done enough. Don't me done. I don't want no money. I don't want no money. I don't want no money. Is he sleeping? Yes. Me say, I can't believe. But listen to me. The man beat me up to the man, put him on palm me. Me say, no, there's no money in this world. Can't make a look at phones in my life that put him on palm me. Me say, see, me never, me say, me never know where the man got the strength from. If I never did a work for him, I beat up in blood clot. Alright, listen. His assets is worth over 350,000. Oh. 300 up? What? Jesus. I can Ch give you 15,000. Ch $350,000? So me look like me, are you dead? A 20,000 me want. I me do all of this work. I'm not accepting nothing less a bomber club. I don't know the joke business. Alright, just mean, get the job done. I me want to do all of this work. It. Get the job done. Me not do nothing until they agree to this. Nice over there now. Nap! Nap! Y'all don't give a damn about my nap. Y'all shoot their plot and I heard you. I recorded everything. Y'all's plotting against me. See, I knew the little white pills you was giving me was making me delusional. I'm old, not crazy, damn it. How would you like it if somebody plotted against you when you get old, huh? Hey? How would you like if they're plotting against your grandparents or even your parents? Both my parents are dead, so I'm sorry I can't relate. Give me the fucking phone. No! Give me the phone! No! Give me the phone! fucking phone! Give me the phone! Oh! 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 Oh!
to do is take him to the top of the stairs and push him down the stairs. Mm -hmm. All right? That's what I'm doing. That's why we're doing it. Do you understand the I situation? Can't do this. You understand the trouble we're in right now? We're in a very sticky situation and it's all your fault. So let's go. Wait a minute, I swear. I won't say a word. I ain't gonna snitch. Please, just call the ambulance. Look. I'm gonna call you a doctor, but first we gotta get you in bed. You said you wasn't gonna say a word, okay? So Kim and I are gonna help you. All right? Kim, come help me with that. Come on. You ain't supposed to move a fall, victim. What, what, wait, wait a minute. What you doing? Back down and come help us. He's having a very bad day. Thank you. Is he dead? Please. Call the ambulance, please. Um, Kim. Is he dead? Oh my god. Is he dead? Oh. I should call the Mark. Can you go upstairs and take his things, uh, paperwork from the top drawer for me? Please? No. Hurry up, just do it now, please. They're on their way. Thanks, thanks. They're on their way. What the hell is going on here? What what's going on with my class? I don't have anything to do with this, sir. I just started my shift. <laughs> He had a fall. He was being very aggressive. We tried to help him up the step, but he fell down the stairs. And he Bullshit, had... Yvette. Bullshit. He told me everything. And you. You've been here for a few months. And you tell me that you really fall for this bullcrap? Fell for what, Mike? Fell for what? 
He had a fall. He fell down the fucking step. He had an accident. You better watch your fucking mouth before I really tell them who's behind all of this. You better watch your mouth. Hey. Hey. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Thank you. So, I'm a lawyer. I have many clients, rich clients. Some are old, some are young. And there's a way that we can make a lot of money together. So much money, you won't believe. I'm not going to have to sleep with anyone, am I? No, I'm not one of those guys. No, I'm not. Okay, explain. I have a 10 to 12 clients of mine who are rich. Some of them, they don't have no family members, no kids. All they have is wealth, assets, and, you know, a few of them have a slight dementia. I'm already their lawyer, so I really don't have no control over their assets. Oh. So what you're saying is, you want me to be like the power of attorney? You're smart, very smart. What I want you to do is to just to give them a few pills which will be prescribed by a doctor who works for me. So once I sign you over as their POA, I then sign them over to our doctor who will then write the prescriptions for their medication. Do you understand? So you want me to get them pills so like you want me to murder them? How much help you me? Well. How much? You can get half their assets. And then. That's over half a million dollars. Oh, uh, it could be more. Me and my partner, we split the rest. When we start? When do we start? explain the videos that he sent to me how can you explain that how would you explain that to me He's dead. Help me put him on the stretcher. What's going on? What's going on? What happened here? My name is Mike. I'm the attorney for um, a client. I wasn't here, but his power of attorney, she was here, so she'll be able to explain to you more than I can. Well, pretty much what happened is he was being very aggressive, and I was helping his caregiver, Kim. We were taking, up, taking him upstairs so he can go to bed, and he just kept pulling and tugging and pushing, and he fell down the stairs. And just a few seconds after, the 3 to 11 nurse came, and she called 911, and pretty much that's what happened. Is that true? Yes. You have paperwork to back that up? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your power of attorney. How nice. Come on in. Come this way. <laughs> nice house you have here.
You know me a car one summer style I can't get up on our friends I should have I should have I will see how you are Even tell your body's calling me So when I come through Don't be stalling me Don't take a little bit Just take all of me Cause love never to say the song Oh, your body's calling me So when I come through Don't be stalling me Don't take a little piece Just take all of me Love's never to say you're sorry Now come on baby Join the world Make you lose sleep Be rich even Burn you out This is the type of love That you free Learn about Before you don't Pray for a century Speech. When it comes to me, man, this a girl with bleach. Nights up and nights in play, trying to reach the climax when time we are doing it. So sweet. Even tell your body's calling me. So when I come through, don't be stalling me. Don't take a little piece, just take all of me. Cause love them up to say you're sorry. Speak for your body's calling me. So when I come through, don't be stalling me. Don't take a little piece, just take all of me. Love's never to say you're sorry. My machine at least I'm not at home Make the palm be refit coming Feel it as soon as we spread it like a G-Go It has to rule Fico, you better come correct And make sure you can back up any talk your mech Cause insufficient funds will only bounce your check And these are gonna be used to be sweat Stick a bet The angel of God is calling me So when I come true, don't be stalling me Don't take a little bit, just take all of me Cause love never comes when you're sorry When I come through, don't be sorry me. Don't take a little piece, just take all of me. Love's never to say you're sorry. Jah know me there, you know you know summer, so hope you're not there for that itching thing, you know. That itching thing I talk about, but what I'm here. Yeah, so make me feel in that thing, you know. All right. Now some of me quit down the chat. In a comfort and pass it on me, no in a dark. It's something I run the baby, I'm not bad. You must take big man for me, yeah. 